everyone, my name is Molly and I'm a student warden for Conway Council's Countryside Service. I know not everyone can get out and see our nature reserves right now, so I thought I'd make a little video showing you one way that you can encourage nature to come to you. I've got a simple bird feeder design here that you can make from just a couple of plastic bottles and things you'll have lying around the house. So you can see some wildlife or maybe even make one for relatives or friends who you know might not get the chance to get out soon. Hope you enjoy. So what you're going to need is two plastic bottles. Uh, you need sellotape, a marker pen, some string to hang it up with. You need a sharp knife or sharp scissors um, just to pierce the plastic and some craft or kitchen scissors would work fine to cut the plastic. So first what we're going to do is take the larger bottle and draw two squares along the bottom of it here. This is where the birds are going to get in to get the food. Okay, a little bit rough, um, but we're only going to cut it out. Uh, so you want to use your sharp knife or your sharp scissors and if you're a kid, obviously, please get your a grown up to come and help you with this. We don't want any accidents. <laughs> so, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to cut the bottle at about halfway along the smaller one. So about there. You can draw a line if that helps you, but it doesn't matter if it's a little bit wonky. Okay. So next, we're going to take the smaller bottle. Now mine's quite small, so I'm going to use the whole thing. But if you want to use quite a big one, then cut it down to about the height that you want your bird feeder to be. And so all I'm going to do is cut off the top here to make a lid so that we can refill bird feeder whenever we need to. I'll draw a line so it's obvious. This also prevents greedy birds from just eating out the top. Okay, so we've now made a little bit fiddly. We've now made a lid that sits quite nicely on top of your bird feeder, so you can take it off and fill up the bird seed and then cover it again. So the bird feeder is going to sit in the base here, um, but obviously we've used a much smaller bottle for the inside, so we're going to have to cut this strip here to attach it. So I'm just going to make a cut here so we can attach it around the smaller bottom. Like so. This gives the birds an area to come and feed in. So you can attach that with glue or you can attach that with sellotape, whatever you've got to hand. I'm going to use sellotape. It can be a little bit fiddly, so you might want to get help with this if you're young, or just take time. Okay, so once you've attached it, it should look a bit like this. It can actually stand up by itself. Just put the lid back on. Um, but you want to be able to hang it up so you can hang it from a nice high place where birds can reach without getting attacked by any local cats. So you want to make a hole here and a hole here. Make sure they're quite small because you're going to tie a knot on the inside for it to hang from. Okay? Make sure you get a grown-up to help you if you're young. tie a knot in the end once it's through the hole, make it nice and big. Okay. 
Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna tape up the sharp edges of plastic that we've left to prevent the birds from injuring themselves. So you just want to fold the cell tape over the edge like that and just cover any sharp edges that are sticking out that you didn't notice. Just make sure it's safe. Okay, so that's taped up all nicely, ready to hang out in the garden and be pecked up by some birds. Hope you've enjoyed this video, this short tutorial about how to make a bird feeder from recycled materials. And um, enjoy! <laughs>